Hey guys, it's Caroline. Today I wanted to do my October favorites, and I'm going to try to get this through this really quickly because um, I know I have been insanely busy this month between school and I think Halloween took out a lot of time as well. Um, so anyways, if you're anything like me and just crazy busy, I thought a quick video would be nice for a change. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and get through it. These are all like essentials of the month, not just things that I, you know, kind of liked and enjoyed, but these are like the essentials. So the first thing um, has been a total lifesaver. It is the Lip Scrub by Sarah Happ, and I'm in the flavor Almond Cream. This has just completely transformed my dry, flaky lips, um, which I definitely, definitely get really bad, um, especially in the colder months. So um, I love this. It smells and tastes amazing. Um, the next thing is a hydrating face tonic. This is by Bobbi Brown. And again, I get the driest, flaky skin. I know that sounds gross, but... Um, it's it's really bad but this I put this on at night after I wash my face and I just wake up with the most like moisturized from within glowing skin um, it is just amazing how much this has transformed my skin in the past month and I just don't know what I would do without it um, I've been using it for probably two or three months and I've used that much I use it every single night with a cotton pad and it is Amazing. It's by Bobby Brown if I didn't already say that. So I love this. Um, the next is another huge skin saver. Um, along with the dry skin, I also have a lot of redness in the colder months. So I have been using this Makeup Forever HD primer. And it is green, you're seeing that right. But what this does is it cancels out all the redness in my skin. So when I put this on, um, I just take about a half a pump and smooth it all over my entire face and it makes my skin look immediately better and it also smooths out any of the dry spots and any of the um, blemishes I have it kinda just creates like a layer before I put on my foundation um, and I just don't know what I would do without it um, I wouldn't wear my foundation this month without it because it just wouldn't look right to have like redness underneath so this is amazing I love it to death um, for my foundation, I've actually switched it up. Uh, I still love the one I was using before, but I found this one and I am obsessed with it. It's by CoverGirl. It's called the Aqua Smoother. Um, I'm in the color light to medium. It's a tinted moisturizer. It doesn't have as much coverage as I'm used to, but between the primer and the better looking skin and everything, um, I really love this. It feels so lightweight. Like I honestly don't even feel like I'm wearing any makeup right now. Um, I wish I'd found about that, find, found out about this when I was in high school because I feel like I wore the most cakey foundation in high school and I know it just, like I look back and I'm like, what was I thinking? Like, no, never, ever again. So I love this. Um, I also love that it's so affordable. I don't feel like I, even if I didn't like it, I wouldn't feel guilty about spending money on it and, um... Yeah, I'm just so obsessed with it. Sorry if I'm rambling on and on and on about it. But the next thing is actually a makeup trick I learned. Um, and it's for my eyebrows. You guys know I really, really love like big, bold eyebrows. It's definitely a huge feature, like prominent feature on my face. And so I like to make sure that they look, you know, very well groomed at all times. But basically what I've been doing is taking a matte brown shadow that matches my eyebrow color. This is Mystery by MAC. And then I take a spoolie brush like this, which this is just by Sonia Kashuk at Target. I think it was about $2. And I just pat the spoolie into the eyeshadow. And then I take this and then just like comb through my brows like I normally would. Um, but it leaves the nicest, like most natural color. And um, I also, this is another thing that I feel really good about because when I travel, I can just bring this. I can use this to line my um, upper lash line. I can use it as a shadow. I just like, I appreciate products that work for more than just one purpose because I don't feel guilty about spending money on it if I use it and I love it. So, um, yeah, I really, really love doing that and I think it just looks so nice. Um, the next favorite is nail polish and I have changed my nails so many times this month, like literally more this month than in the last year probably combined. Um, but I keep going back to this one. And it's by LA Girl Flare, which I think is sold at like Urban Outfitters and Forever 21. And it doesn't even have a name, but it's just this really nice navy polish. But the reason I think I keep going back to it is because um, 
I typically, I'll just go ahead and tell you honestly, I will usually go to the salon with my nail polish and have them paint it on. Not like giving me a manicure or anything, but just a polish change. I think it costs like $8.00. Just because I'm so bad at nail polish, like it just looks like a five-year-old painted my nails every time I try. But for some reason, I don't know if it's the size of the brush or the formula, but I can do this and it looks really good when I do. So um, I just always go to it. And I also like the color, but I think I would like to try more colors by this brand. So um, the last favorite I have for you guys is this big round brush. I hauled this a few weeks ago. And I have been obsessed with it. Um, ever since I got this new haircut with all these long layers, I feel like it really needs a lot more, um, well it needs less work than my hair before, but it needs more, what am I trying to say? I don't know. But basically this just saves my hair every single day. Um, I just take this and a hair, uh, hair dryer and I get the most amazing results. It takes me about 20 minutes I think to blow dry my hair now and um, if I let it air dry it would take like 7 hours so it's actually a lot faster just to go ahead and blow dry it but this brush is amazing it creates the most amazing volume and body and bounce um, yeah so I really really love it um, and that is everything so I hope that you guys enjoyed this video um, I'm thinking of like more video ideas to do next. I'm thinking maybe like a foundation routine or possibly like a skincare routine. Um, I don't know, but let me know what you guys would like to see, you know, first or if you guys have any other request, like maybe like fall fashion or I don't know, whatever you want to see, just let me know in the comments below. Um, and yeah, so thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys next time. Bye guys!